looking at the ACME corporate organizational unit, we can drill down and select that organizational unit to look at the roles within the unit. So here I see I have several roles that are um, related to the highest level ACME corporate organizational unit. I have a full description at the bottom and um, several other properties. So looking at, for example, this um, CIO role, I can later go on and define that role and define um, this role for, for the, the CIO that um, is related to the ACME corporate organizational unit. So there we're looking at different objects, uh, different relationships. The CIO role can uh, be included uh, and related to several different organizational units. Drilling down to the business process, uh, excuse me, the business goal, here we have improved customer satisfaction. Looking at the improved customer satisfaction business goal, here I can look at uh, the business goal to improve customer the customer satisfaction, look at a full description, enter a target date for my goal, enter a priority, one through five, and priority is an example of a user-defined property. So looking at any of these objects, uh, whether it is a business goal, an organizational unit, uh, a hardware server, or a business process, I can choose to add or remove any of these tabs, adding or removing any of these properties. So this pro priority property is uh, a custom user-defined property that you can choose to create. So looking at this improved customer satisfaction, here I see the strategies that support this business process. So I see to be innovative and increase efficiency are uh, one of the two strategies for this business goal. We have certain business policies like SOX compliance um, we would like to achieve in support of this business goal. And we have metrics. So we want to measure our progress against, uh, against achieving this business goal. And we can add two measurable goals here. For example, we can measure ourselves against uh, this improved customer satisfaction by looking at our customer surveys and add that as a, a measurement goal. And we can add another one um, called timely response. to process customer applications. And adding that as a measurement uh, really creates the measurement in the repository and links it directly to this business goal. So looking at customer surveys, I could define that and now I'm in the customer surveys object and here I can just further define the survey. So there we've seen the business goal. We see the objective tied visually to that business goal to improve customer satisfaction uh, by 20%. And now moving towards um, this organizational unit, we can go from the organizational unit and drill down to the details, the organizational details of Acme Corporate. So looking at these three dots here at the top, that does tell me that I have an underlying child diagram that supports this organizational unit. So I'm going to drill down and just navigate to that child diagram. At any point within System Architect, I can choose to create parent-child relationships between different diagrams. And I've created those relationships and now I'd like to drill down to that child diagram. Drilling down to the child diagram, I would like to drill down um, to this organizational unit uh, called ACME Corporate. So selecting ACME Corporate, this is the organizational unit that shows the breakdown of the organization from the ACME Corporate organizational unit. We see we have a finance, marketing, HR, and information technology uh, organizational units. And we have two product divisions that we're uh, supporting, product division one and product division two. Uh, product Division 1, we see we have a child, uh, child diagram below it 
So we can follow these three dots and navigate to the child diagram. Opening up this child diagram, here I see the specific uh, organizational unit product uh, breakdown for product division one. So I see that the organiza organizational unit for product division one, the breakdown is we have product division one sales, product division one product development, and then three common uh, organizational units that span the two products, which are in IT, HR, and marketing. Looking at product division one, we see further breakdown into technical sales and regional sales, excuse me, telesales and regional sales. For product division one, uh, I'm gonna follow down and drill down further to the child diagram. So here my focus is product division one sales. Looking at product division one sales, I'm looking at the functional decomposition for product division one sales. Um, this is the business process hierarchy diagram that shows product division one sales. And I see that we have new business development supporting product division one sales, business admin, relationship management, servicing and sales product fulfillment, and finance uh, control and accounting. So looking at relationship management, we see a drill down to account planning, direct relationship management, and credit assessment. So for this functional decomposition, I want to follow the link for credit assessment. So I'll take this credit assessment and follow the child diagram. And now uh, opening up this credit assessment child diagram, I see I can look at the um, direct breakdown of verify account for verifying a new customer account and that ties back to our functional decomposition uh, for credit assessment. So looking at this business process diagram, this business process diagram is done in business process modeling notation, BPMN, so we're looking at a new diagram here, and that's reflected in this new tab that I have open. The diagram is called Verify Account, and it's of type Business Process. At the top in my toolbar here, I see my modeling notations, all of my symbols that are legal symbols for this particular type of diagram. And again, I'm following BPMN, Standard Notation, so these uh, symbols are the legal symbols for that notation and users who are modeling within the business process modeling domain and system architect are able to follow that notation and, uh, with system architect. So I can see the notation, the symbols using the toolbar. I could also see those same symbols under the draw menu for this particular type of diagram. I see the symbols and I see what type of symbol it is. So, Selecting a process, this is where I can select a process and add a new process to the diagram. Before I do that, I like to um, drill, zoom in to the diagram to look at some of the details. So for example, we're looking at verifying a customer account. And this is the process that Acme Corporate follows for verifying a, pro a customer account in the product division one organization. So here we are uh, receiving a customer application as a starting event, and that's given uh, to the product division one regional sales uh, account manager, and they determine applicant of, of eligibility, send that into application review, and then we go through a gateway here. If um, we need a credit report, so we analyze if we need a credit report. If we need a credit report, we go through uh, Notify Credit Management Services. If not, then we follow the other link and provide pricing uh, and approval. So looking at this flow, I can see that I have several different swim lanes. From the top, the PD1 Regional Sales as the role responsible for the uh, business processes carrying out the business processes in this swim lane. Then I have the PD1 sales manager, credit management service manager, and the risk assessor. And so I could go through these swim lanes and see uh, for each role, who's responsible for what business process, for which business process, and I can see the flow from start to end.